Welcome to the campus of St. Paul's where we get a rare treat. One of the best rivalries in all of high school lacrosse, the boys Latin Lakers make the short trip up Falls Road to play the host St. Paul's Crusaders. Thanks for joining us on CUDA.com and the Game of the Week. I'm Booker Corgan, joined as always by my man Ty Zanders. Ty, talk about the importance of this rivalry. Well, plain and simple, it does not get much better than this. It has all the storylines, whether it's family, you know, the, the ridiculous intensity, the history, everything. It's just a special library. For the Lakers today, obviously, you know the names of Stanwick, Heacock, Pride Moore, and Mac Pons. I'm going to think outside the box today and tell you that some of the key components of Boys Latin success are going to ride on guys like T. Moyer, Casey Reese, long stick midfielder Aaron Leeds, short stick D. Mitty, do everything midfielder Nick Gasaldi, Keegan O'Connor needs to have a big day, and defenseman Hugh Mosco has been turning it on. And as always, you know Tal Bruno brings some heat every time he gets a chance to shoot. That's the Lakers story, Ty. Let's talk about St. Paul's. For St. Paul's, Henry Reels, a midfielder I've had college coaches texting me about. They love him. Also on attack, Carter Flake and Mikey Wynn, a very potent one-two punch. On defense, Michael Mayer is a six-foot-five long stick that makes it happen. We will be right back with the opening face-off first quarter, as always, brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. The Baltimore Crabs, locally grown, nationally known. And don't let the rainy conditions fool you. A large crowd on hand, as we mentioned in the open tie. Huge rivalry game. D'Amelio going against Hunter Moreland at the face-off logo. Big opportunity for everybody to make a statement. Rivalry games, throw the records out the window. These guys want to prove themselves. It's cliche, but I can barely hear myself think. It, it, and the, the noise here is... Uh, unrivaled anywhere. It's just a very special Baltimore feud. I mean, dating back, you know, to the 40s even. And the commonality, Coach Bob Schreiber, Coach Rick Bricado, both attended Washington College. <laughs> Opening faceoff picked up early by the Crusaders, and D'Amelio comes away with it. And in honor of Coach Rick Mercado, I'm gonna tell you that Mike D'Amelio made a nifty little play on that faceoff. He made sure that he won the race to Nifty today. He snuck it in there. He requested, he requested that I give him the race to Nifty because it's a fun game. And the clock has not moved in the early going. It's not us. <laughs> on the field. We're gonna step away. First quarter brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. Make sure you check out their top prospect camp. And as always, make sure you remember to use Skeeter Snacks. For anyone with a nut allergy or someone who loves a great cookie treat, Skeeter Snacks, totally nut free, totally delicious. A little minor clock issue, all solved up. Athletic director Paul Bernsdorf doing an amazing job here with the administration. Referees for today's game. Dave Schultz, Bob the Hound, Kelly, and Andre Moose DuPont. Great crew, a tough crew. Turnover by the Crusaders. Christian Knight comes up with it and gets it to Casey Reese. We got a lot of action in the middle of the field. Diagonal pass, no good. And that's gonna give possession back to the Crusaders. Early first quarter, thank you so much for being a part of the CUDA.com Game of the Week. Over 1.7 million views this season. And we still have this one and a playoff game Friday. And of course, Thursday night, I'll be at Michael's Cafe celebrating an amazing season. Here's Michael Mayer. Straight down Falls Road, shot goal. I gotta ask you, who had Michael Mayer in the pool for the opening goal? I didn't, I certainly didn't. 
To get that long stick goal, I'm sure I've said it many times this year, it really gets your bench going, it gets the crowd going. I mean, that's the way you want to start. And he's done it several times before. He's a stud with his stick. D'Amelio jumps early on the ensuing faceoff. New rule in place this year. Three early violations by any team in a given half results in a 30-second foul. It's a turf field, but there will be some conditions, you know, taking, uh, you know, making impact on this game. I know these guys have been tuning their sticks all day and trying to get them right, knowing that there'll be rain. Be a little sloppy to stick work to start. Shaq Stanway. Now the Johns Hopkins commit, guarded by Mayer. Stanway driving left, the inside move shot, goal dives in, waved off. No goal. And the quick restart. Usually you see some inconsistency with the dive call, but there's no doubt there he was in. And you see that big hit, and you'll see it a lot more today. These teams straight up do not like each other at all. Tal Bruno with the takeaway. And just look at the intensity. You are going to have to pay a price to make a play here today. Peacock possesses for the Lakers. Now it's Pride Moore. And if you couldn't tell these teams don't like each other, you can tell now. Michael Lynch up at the top, and now it's Reese. And a stoppage on the field. First quarter brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs. Check out their top prospect camp. The Baltimore Crabs, locally grown, nationally known. Tremendous organization. Make sure you check out their top prospect camp for rising eighth graders and ninth graders. Great level of play, great coaching. And another clock issue, we'll step away for a moment. And we are coming back to live action. Couple minute delay there for clock issues. Nothing CUDA.com can't handle. Thank you for joining us here on CUDA.com. Boys Latin in the road, blacks, St. Paul's home, whites. The rivalry to end all rivalries. Here's Lynch driving righty. Gets a step, nice chase defense by the Crusaders. Peacock now wants his left. Stanwick, same side, gets the double, pushes it to Heacock. Inside shot, goal. Great feed by Colin Heacock, and a great finish by Casey Reeves. And we knew BL would, would respond, and we knew it would be quick. They have so many scoring options that it makes it easy to, to put up a ton of goals. On the other side, they don't allow much either. They've only allowed double digits just, just twice. And that uh, says a lot about the coaching and the depth they have in the defensive end. 9.54 remaining. We are tied at one here at St. Paul's. D'Amelio going against Hunter Moreland that time. Moreland pushes forward. Heacock comes up with the ground ball. Going against Travis Wood. And now it's Stanwick against Michael Mayer. Double team by the Crusaders, and Stanwick splits it, gets the pass inside, what a goal! Tremendous effort on the inside. Credit that, Colin Chell doing what he does best. You can talk about Heacock and Stanwick all you want, but Colin Chell makes things happen within five yards of the goal. It's unbelievable. The ball's not in his stick that long, but he makes it happen. Really nifty score there for DL. 
he's one of those guys who clearly understands his role on this BL offense and makes the most of his opportunities. Some jostling over on the far side. Even the wing plays getting a little intense in this rivalry game. Nice ground ball that time by Greg Luzon, but hotly contested Lichtenauer shovels it back. Tom Brown all the way to Christian Knight. Talberno carries for the Lakers. And sometimes you see somewhat of a drop off when it comes to the second midfield. Beal doesn't have that. They have Bruno and O'Connor and Moyer running that second line of Sheriff Juniors, and, and they're, they're pretty special. Heacock gets the shot off, rings the iron, and Keegan O'Connor wins the race to the spot where and when it went out. 8.37 remaining first quarter. Stanwick just past goal line extended. Head up, looking to move the ball the whole way. Now calls his own number shot just over the cage. And with the weather the way it is, Ty, I can't wait to get to Michael's Cafe for a nice warm bowl of crab soup and maybe even the best crab cake in the state. I thought the weather would put a damper on the crowd, Key Sobel being damp, but there are plenty of people here and you know, always in excess of 2,000 people when you have BL and St. Paul's come together. And as you say that, Keegan O'Connor Face dodge, re-dodge, and it's 3-1 Lakers, 7.57 remaining first quarter. And the rain starts to really come down right now. Thank God for this box, man. Yeah, we're in the right spot. Emilio pushes it forward, gets held up a little bit. And now we're going to get into play of the game. It's St. Paul's ball. No, it's BL ball. What do I know? Lakers right back on offense. The St. Paul's defense has been accurate for a while. And the short stick for St. The short sticks for St. Paul's left to be up the task with how much depth they have. Ooh. And Michael Lynch buries it for the four to one lead for the Lake. Some teams are just motivated. <laughs> when you go down one at a start, you're, you're going to Lakers with four straight goals. A lot of acceleration there for Michael Lynch. And again, BL continues to work that two-headed monster at the face-off dot. This time it's Lichtenauer. And, and the Crusaders Emilio. will have to even things up by winning face-offs. So They're down 4-1. D'Amelio has been a huge part of their success this year, but he's just not winning them today. Still early, that's a good thing, but yep. D'Amelio has been outstanding this year and will have to be, you know, on his game. That's 5-1 face-off to Lakers. As the clock winks down towards the seven-minute mark here, first quarter brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs. Make sure you investigate the opportunity you have to participate in their top prospect camp. Keegan O'Connor shot goal. And the Lakers just can't do anything wrong right now. They haven't done much wrong this year. And Ty, let's discuss that after the clock delay, you saw the Lakers all go out and practice their stick work, and it's made a big difference because they were throwing the ball away early. They look on point so far. They look, you know, there's more chemistry, everything is just fluid. That is why they are the number one team in the country. We'll be back, but make sure you check out the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. 
Lakers on a five goal run right now. They lead five to one here at St. Paul's. Early violation that time St. Paul sends out number 33, Hank Ford to take the face off. And this is Alex McGovern. I don't think St. Paul's is really playing bad lacrosse by any means. The Elders winning face-offs and they have a lot of the possession time. And that's gonna, you know, swing the scales in their favor, up 5-1. You put the ball in St. Paul's sick and they'll probably score. Loose ball picked up by Mitch Gordon, the freshman, but he gets doubled and now we get our first flag of the day. This man up brought to you by Motive Pure Hydration Formula. Make sure you're using Motive Pure this summer for all your camps and tournaments. Motive Pure Hydration Formula, reinventing rehydration. MotivePure.com. A one minute foul against Mac Pond. You don't see him commit many fouls. He's very technically sound, go with the stick. Don't see him in the box a whole lot. Crusaders doing a lot of off ball moving here on the man up. Down the wing, shot, saved Knight as he went down low to get that offering from Linkus. And just like that, the Crusaders back, threatening the defense. Peacock flips it to Pride more. Pride has got a lane. Goes for that corner. And he's not, not sorry, Book. They're not the type of guy you want to leave unguarded. He's got the speed and you know the shot speed as well. Accuracy has worked on tremendously to put the ball in the back of the net. They're lucky that he uh, he missed that wide left. Still 12 seconds left in the BL penalty as they work to kill it off. Michael Lynch steps on. Nice job on the man down by BL's Liam Berman. A loose ball push is gonna give the ball back to the Lakers. 4.57 remaining. First quarter. Lakers really hitting their stride offensively. And it's rare in the MYAA to go undefeated. It just does not happen that often. Last time was 2008 with Gilman and they lost in the championship. So uh, BL's hoping that the same thing doesn't happen, but first off to get past St. Paul's. A great ride by Casey Reese, but a tough ground ball by Bennett Moore. He gets it back to Barreto, and he's got Travis Wood on the far side. Sometimes that third guy doesn't get talked about, but Bennett, Bennett Moore is a phenomenal recruit. Henry Reels got some live action shot, and he scored. Ball hits the post, hits the body. Christian Knight and rebounds into the cage. Five to two, 405 to go first. Big play by Henry Rule Real. Pushes it forward, calls his own number, Barreto equals it. Turnover on the clearing attempt. 3.52 remaining first quarter. Five to two year score, Lakers in the lead. And again, the Crusaders back on defense. They cannot afford to play this kind of defense all day. Especially with a sophomore net miner. AJ Bredo's very strong keeper, but he's still a sophomore. Doesn't have that big game experience that you would want from someone playing in the BLSP rivalry. 
Danwick draws him in. Moyer comes around. First quarter brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club and that top prospect camp that they run for rising eighth and rising ninth graders. Make sure you investigate the Baltimore Crabs top prospect camp. Stanwick and Moyer, two-man game. Moyer goal line extended. And Tal Bruno, righty alley. Shot saved Barreto high into the air. Need to control the rebound. That's another thing a sophomore may not do well. We mentioned guys like Chell that are so good in the doorstep. Keacock also have their middies flooding in. Need to control the rebound, or the Lakers get a few more goals on the board. Keegan O'Connor. Behind the neck, this is Heacock. Has his defender hung up. Now the onus is on Heacock to attack the cage, or they will get slapped with a stall warning. Totally teasing Travis Wood here. Comes around, shoots high. Barreto gets a piece and it hits the pipe. And we got a hot sloppy mess down here on the ground ball. Great pickup by Colin Heacock. Moves it over. Shot blocked on its way. But again, BL creating their own breaks. Low shot and now we get another flag. 154 remaining first quarter, an eventful first quarter tie. With that delay, you know, definitely eventful. Glad we're getting going now. Second man up opportunity for the Lakers brought to you by Motive Pure Hydration Formula. Go to motivepure.com and get all that great product you're going to need for this summer. Sky whammy by Heacock. Down the wing. Great man up play there for the Lakers, but a nice save by A.J. Barreto. Ten seconds remaining in the foul. 130 left in the quarter. A tic-tac-toe passing, and Shule with the goal. Nice finish by Devin Shule, just the sophomore, but he puts the Lakers up six to two. I haven't even mentioned Shule yet. He's a guy, a key call in that extra man offense. Off, pushed forward by D'Amelio. Great ground ball pickup. And the Crusaders' opportunity for Witzler. Shot goal. Witzler making it happen. And that is how you answer. Six to three now, 118 remaining first quarter. Nine, nine goals, and we're barely 10 minutes in. That's just insane. We thought we had a high scoring game on uh, on Friday, that 15 to 13 barn burner right here at St. Paul's, but <laughs> I think this will surpass this. Almost what you'll see on, on Saturday in uh, you know, Albany, Denver. Yeah. Can't wait to get out to Denver. Carter Flag guarded by Pons. Less than a minute to go, first quarter. Flag drops it. Just a tremendous position defense right there by Mac Pons. And he is as effective a defenseman as you'll see. Won't throw those big takeaway checks often, but he's just so good with his stick and his feet. I'm sure John Tillman can't wait to have him on campus in College Park. Here's Gasaldi. 
with the do everything midfielder I talked about in the open. He gets it back up top, thinks about it, bounces it behind to Stanwick. And a nice takeaway check. Bennett Moore again proving his worth. Full field pass. Could be a hold call. Missed that one, I think. And Gasoli's got four seconds to work with. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Six to three, Lakers first quarter brought to you as always by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. Locally grown, nationally known. Make sure you investigate the opportunity you have to attend their top prospect camp. And as always, thank you to Skeeter Snacks. Totally nut free, totally delicious. If you don't believe me, just ask my man, Matty Cruz.